and gentlemen, it is time for the tail of the tape for this, the main event of the evening. Chocolatito, the icon, the legend, 34 years old, five foot three with a 64 inch reach. That's the same as young Julio Cesar Martinez, who's quite frankly in the biggest fight of his life. These are the rules, 12 rounds, no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. You can only be saved by the bell in the final round. Will we see a passing of the torch? Or will Chocolatito's flame burn right through yet another Mexican challenger? Nicaragua versus Mexico in San Diego. And here we go. How many wars does this warrior have left in Chocolatito? What kind of fight are we going to see? We knew if it was going to be El Gallo, Chocolatito, part three, we're just going to see a ton of volume, great action. We yeah, don't know. Todd, you mentioned that 20 and one number record for Chocolatito against Mexican fighters. That's not a small sample size by any stretch. And I asked him this week, what is it about Mexican fighters? He's like, they just stand there and want to trade with them. And that's exactly what I want in an opponent. The kind of opponents I hate, are the ones that are always on the move. Martinez already landed a yep. big left hook right now. Well, Sergio, there were questions, could the power that Martinez possesses go up and wait, stay with him? Yes, I think he can carry his, his, his punch up because he, he punches from unpredictable and unexpected angles. So you don't really have to punch that hard if you're punching that uh, athletically from a certain position. Ray dropped his gloves for a second, got caught. And there was an uppercut that scores from Chocolatito. And that's Chocolatito's best punch. It's a 45-degree punch. It comes from the bottom. He doubles and triples it up. Stabbing right hand to the body for Roman Gonzalez. Once that right hand to the gut starts landing, expect the left uppercut after that. So round two, scheduled for 12 rounds. Martinez from the toughest neighborhood in Mexico City, said he was kicked out of elementary school for fighting and admits to being hot-tempered. He was nicknamed Iron Boy because his classmates couldn't slow him down in playground fights. But he still carries that passion and resolve in the ring as a professional as he's throwing punches here against Chocolatito. That was a quiet first round by Chocolatito, but you could expect him to pick him up right here. He's already altering the attack and the speed. Breaking the distance of Martinez. I think there is something to the corner and what they said between rounds. Like, did you feel it? Did you feel the power of this heavy hitter? Now you know what to expect. Now you can win to our fight. You never know where the power is going to come from when it comes to Gonzalez. He touches, touches, and he alternates the power as well. On the right hand scores for Chocolatito. Punch placement is his MO. That's his, that's his favorite thing. Chocolatito, you never know when it's going to be an explosive shot or he's just going to touch you to get you to, to block on that side or you get attack on the other side. Martinez being a little hesitant. There's some body work, a couple of uppercuts. Gonzalez trying to shake him off, and now he lands some punches of his own. There's some hard shots landed right there by Chocolatito. What do you make of what we're seeing so far, Sergio? Well, I think both of them haven't really uh, got going. They want more uppercuts and left hooks from Martinez, and they want more jabs and aggression uh, from Chocolatito. They want Martinez to just punch at the gloves of Chocolatito, get some points, back up the legend. And that's a good strategy because Chocolatito really, fights really effortless. He's, he's really relaxed. So if you could just touch something, get going, and get your punches flying, it's a good look, just like that. You could tell Martinez came in with a game plan to be more of an active puncher. His last six fights only averaged about 50 punches thrown per round. So he clearly understands that you've got a wing against Chocolatito. And he's winging now, but Chocolatito, as he always does, fires back. You'll get yours, but I'll get mine. That was a sneaky good uppercut Chocolatito landed there. That had an impact on Martinez. Let the war begin. Both these guys landing uppercuts and body shots. 
Good shot to the sternum from Chocolatito. Gonzalez has those throwback colored gloves on as well. Looks like he's fighting in the 1940s. Well, he has the toughness of a 40s fighter, I'll tell you that. See, the, the switching of Martinez that normally confuses opponents is not confusing Chocolatito. Good combination right there, Martinez coming back. And that's what he does, he suffocates you with pressure and uppercuts. Martinez starting to look a little bit like Ricardo Mayorga saying, punch me in the face. And he's doing it. Gladly, willingly. And he got caught again. Look mm -hmm. at Chocolatino. That's experience and accuracy from Gonzalez. And here's a flurry of Chocolatito. How creative with his combinations. Uppercuts, not forgetting the body. Martinez trying to bang through those gloves. I'll tell you what, for a guy that throws as many punches as Gonzalez does, his defense is pretty darn good, too. Yeah, Martinez has been loading up to land some of these shots, and a few of them have gotten through, but Gonzalez has had that guard up. He's dropping his elbows to protect against the body shots. He is fighting effectively defensively. Now, that's a great observation, Todd, because Gonzalez, for as much of, a, of an aggressive fighter as he is, he does fight really effortlessly and loose. Even when he does get hit, he's so calm that he can take and roll with the punch. Right hand scores for Gonzalez. You're scheduled for 12 rounds. Chocolatito, as advertised, throwing a relentless barrage of punches. Martinez still looking for his moments to use that power. 14 knockouts in his 18 wins. Let's look at Chris Mannix's scorecard. Yeah, I've got it three rounds to two in favor of uh, Chocolatito, so four to one in favor of Chocolatito. I think he's done a lot of good work after that first round. Martinez, he picked up the first round based on the inactivity of Gonzalez, but since then, Gonzalez has been considerably better. I think Chocolatito's backing up Martinez with ease now, landing some good shots just like he did right there. The little, the, the little shots, hard to see, but they're effective shots, and I think he's hurting Martinez to the body. We haven't seen the bravado, the machismo of Martinez, who's normally oh, fighting. Big left hand, and that stumbles him. Who's normally fighting with passion and aggression, pounding his chest, hands down. Hey, that was a terrific counter left by Martinez as well. Back Chocolatito up. But Chocolatito going forward, he's pushing the tempo. He's being the boss. And there's Eddie Renoso, lower left hand. Martinez calling him back in. Things are heating up here in the six. Here we see the right hook landed right on the chin. I think we're starting to see the body language of Julio Cesar Martinez realizing he's in there just with a different monster and a different beast. Just missing with the right hand there was Chocolatito. Yeah, El Rey just leaning back against the ropes. And you wonder if Gonzalez is starting to feel Martinez shrinking away. Oh, absolutely. That's what I just mentioned. See that body shot right there? Chocolatito senses. He senses his, his, his opponent wilting. It is a grind, and Chocolatito is one of the great grinders in all of boxing. Now, Martin, Martinez has never been backed up like this before. No, he has not, and Martinez has no oh, response. Oh, got with the right hand, and the legs are starting to go. The uppercuts are landing too cleanly, left and right. Oh, and a slip and fall. Not there, not there. So many people have been slipping on that side with the advertisement on the canvas. 
hear the chopping right hand. That's that's Gonzalez's best combination right there. A right hand either to the chin or the or the body, but coming back with left uppercuts. He was complaining about it a few rounds ago. But Sergio, we've seen fighters maybe break their hand. It's painful for a few rounds, but then it gets almost numb. Well, normally the adrenaline takes care of all that. I don't think his hand's broken. I, I just think he's in the, he's he's intimidated. I, it looks like he's intimidated physically by Gonzalez. He's not letting his hands go because he's worried about something in return. We're not used to seeing this this normally aggressive buzzsaw be so quiet with his fist. Sergio Chocolatito knows how to close the show. 41 knockouts in his 50 wins. He's got a wounded animal in front of him. How hard is he going to push to put him out of there? You know, I wouldn't go as far as to call uh, Martinez wounded. I would say that he's just in the presence of greatness, and, and he doesn't know how to react. He's intimidated, Martinez. I think he's more bewildered. There you go. Something where he doesn't want to let his hands go. here in round nine for Martinez. But he just ate a left and then a right. As he's pounding his gloves, Choc Latino's pounding his face. Sergio, every time someone does that, every single time, I'm convinced that they're hurt. When they're waving you in, saying, let's go, and they're leaning against the ropes like that, I'm convinced they're hurt. They're hurt or they're embarrassed or they're frustrated, yes. I'm just watching the feet. Gonzalez and his foundation it just never breaks he's always he always has that stance I mean the footwork is just brilliant we're looking at the combinations and we're looking at the head movement that, and everything that he does up top but it all comes from the foundation it's just beautiful beautiful to watch trying to shake those hands out we are in round 10 scheduled for 12 if you're just joining us a little bit of success perhaps in the very early rounds for Martinez, but since then it's been all Gonzalez. Well, it hasn't been the rousing spectacle that we hoped, but Chocolatito's handling his part of the bargain for sure. It definitely takes two to tango, and, and right now the only one doing the dancing and the punching is Chocolatito. Martinez just backing up, Watch. trying to avoid the, 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 the onslaught of Chocolatito. Watch Gonzalez's hands when Martinez is throwing punches at him. He's almost blocking him in the air that's like exact, he's, that's he's exactly, the Matrix. That's exactly what he's doing. It's the slow bullet scene. But then Gonzalez answers back. Oh, big left hook. He's just picking him apart. And more Chocolatito right here. There's that left hook that's been landing the entire fight. Credit to Martinez's chin because those shots are clean on the jaw. Good combination there for Martinez. Good combination, but it's too wide, though. Chocolatito's not going to get hit or bothered by white shots like that, especially with the high guard that, he, that he's keeping. How about this step? 116 of the 119 punches Chocolatito has landed have been power punches. That's effective punching. That left hook right there that Chocolatito landed, right on the tip of the oh! chin. And his chin is the real deal. You talk about being impressive. Chuck Latino's scoring on all marks except for the chin. That's Martinez's best weapon here tonight. He is just eating everything. I'm telling you right now, they might stop this fight. I... Too many punches being landed too cleanly. Yeah, you see the body language right now in these last 25 seconds. Just the lights seem to be gone from Ray Martinez. You're nodding your head, Todd, but this is boxing where one punch can change a fighter's a career. Fighters help, and there's no great. There's no great in Martinez. You were Martinez, would you say take me out of round 12? No, Martinez. It's not up to Martinez. It's up to the corner. 
tempo. One of the greatest to ever lace up the gloves, showing us why, even at the age of 34, he's still one of the pound-for-pound -pound kings. About to be 35 in a couple of months. He's just an incredible specimen of a fighter. Another uppercut on the inside for Gonzalez, who right now looks like he's trying to close the show. Martinez wants this fight to be over. And Chocolatito wants to continue fighting. <laughs> Say this for Martinez. When he's letting his hands go, he's really letting his hands go. He just can't match the output and power punching of Gonzalez. It's exactly what we thought coming in. As strong as he is, Gonzalez is just that much stronger. Well, you know what? Martinez is starting to score a little bit. And the crowd trying to urge him on here. Twenty seconds to go. Yes, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here in San Diego, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Zachary Young, 118 to 110. Mike Ross, 117 to 111. And Max DeLuca, 116 to 112. All for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new WBC Super Flyweight Diamond Champion, El orgullo de Mario La Esperanza, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez.